Hey, Lanky Cyclist here. So a few weeks ago, I painted one of my kids' bikes, bought some spray dot bike, and I thought I would tell you how it went. So the background of the story here is that we bought my daughter a new bike, and we handed down her old bike to my son, and he wasn't feeling the traditional girl colors. He was okay with the, the deep purple, but he didn't like the pink trim on the bike. So he agreed that if I painted the pink black that he would take possession of the bike. So that's kind of the, the backstory here of, of why we were doing this. So I went on Spray Dot Bike and I bought the Black Friars paint. Uh, it's basically a matte black, uh, comes in a 400 milliliter can, which Spray Dot Bike says is enough to paint a full frame and fork in, in a single coat. Now the website is pretty helpful. Uh, they have a whole bunch of tips on there about you know how to go about painting your bike. Uh, depending on the frame material, uh, as well as, you know, whether it's a, a new frame or an old frame, you know, there's whether there's rust spots, uh, give you tips on, you know, sort of the temperature, the humidity levels uh, to, to paint in. Uh, so very helpful um, and definitely, you know, good for somebody like me who's never done this before. So on day one, uh, did step one, which was to sand the areas that we were going to paint. So got some 3M sandpaper. I went with the 220 uh, and just gave the areas, the pink areas that we were painting over, just gave it a little bit of a, a roughing up. So not, I didn't spend a whole lot of time doing this, but tried to just kind of get at least, you know, some of the paint away to kind of get under the metal there uh, and just do, you know, just a, a little bit of a rough job just to give the paint uh, a little bit something to adhere to. So I was also using wet sandpaper uh, that was recommended by by Spray Bike, uh, and I also kind of gave it, you know, a little bit of a rinse down afterwards, just to kind of get all the little, you know, sanded dust uh, off of there before we moved on to step number two. So step number two, which I don't have a lot of video for here, was basically just kind of taping up the areas that we were not going to paint. Now, because we are only painting basically a portion of the top tube. Uh, as well as a portion of just one of the chain stays, kind of came up with a, a, a very convoluted uh, process. Basically took a whole bunch of cardboard boxes uh, and kind of stuffed them around uh, the areas that I didn't want to paint, used some painter's tape to kind of hold everything together, and basically just kind of tried to isolate the areas that we were painting um, as much as I possibly could. Uh, and also just was really careful with the painter's tape uh, along those geometric edges. So that way, you know, I could just hit it real quick with the paint and then, you know, it should look, look really good. So because I was doing this in the month of February, I had to be very conscientious of what the weather was doing. And fortunately here in Northeast Ohio, we had a very mild February uh, and I had a day where it was sunny and 60 degrees uh, and the humidity wasn't too high. So it was sort of perfect uh, ideal conditions for, for using the spray dot bike. So took it outside, gave it just kind of a real quick few little blasts on the chainstay and on the top tube. Uh, and then we let that dry for several hours, although I, I probably let it dry way longer than it really needed to. So then we took off all the cardboard painter's tape to reveal the finished product. And I have to say, I am pretty, pretty proud of myself. So I am really happy with the way that this turned out the amount the little amount of time that I invested in this project uh, and the fact that I've never done this before turned out really well I'm very happy with it I mean you can't tell that it was painted unless you get up really close there's a few little spots where I think I got a little bit carried away with the sandpaper and I kind of scratched up the stuff that I wasn't painting I would say that the spray dot bike was uh, super easy to use and I would definitely recommend uh, using that paint if you're looking to do some sort of a bike painting project, pretty cost effective. I think it was $16.99 US dollars for the 400 milliliter can. And yeah, I mean, it just, it definitely did the job. Happy with this, how, how this turned out. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you in the next video.